All right, welcome back everybody. I'm gonna be installing this here today. Seemed like a good option online. Uh, I need to put a brake controller on because I need to pull a trailer. Um, this kit comes with the uh, um, brake controller, um, this for splicing wires um, to connect it to your car, a mount, some instructions, and some hardware. Um, this was a separate thing I had to buy. This is the adapter to connect to this tow package, GL450. Um, so first thing I have to do is take this cover off by removing these three screws. So these are like, uh, I'm using a T15, but it looks like it's a tiny bit small, um, but it still gets it off. So this cover mm -hmm. just pulls down. I imagine those screws are about a T20. So when you pull this down, you want to be very careful with this corner. There's actually like another kind of clip you probably want to grab farther back. Otherwise you'll probably like snap this off. But when this drops down, you can go ahead and uh, undo your light there. This is just your floor puddle lamp. And that comes off. And then what we're going to have is our hood release. So. The back side of this just has two, let's see if I can focus that for you, two little clips you just have to push back on. And so if you take fingers and push them back at the same time, I was using both my thumbs, or you can do it one at a time, it'll then come down like that. But it doesn't look like it'll really fit through that hole. Um, you can mess with it, but I find it easier to just take the cable off. So the way you would do that is you would take this where the cable comes in and you're just going to pull this and kind of try and get it to go through there. And then you can open it all the way. Your hood may open, that's fine. And then you need the cable to come through that little slot there. So you can see that it's supposed to go in and out like that. And once you have that off and out of the way, this will just come down and all the way out of the vehicle. So what we can expect to see then is this. Let me back this off. And so this is actually going to be our cable that we're looking for right here. So if you pull down on the carpet a little bit, it kind of goes down. And then it goes back over here. And then there's kind of like this tie or something that's like holding it. You may have to kind of like pedal with this to get it to release the cable. But yeah, it looks like I kind of like broke it already because I was kind of already in here. And so basically this will just pull out like that. So just for perspective, you know, right behind the brake pedal, underneath the uh, steering, you got your connector right there and you should be able to pull this um, out a decent amount. This may fall off, that's fine. Uh, this is just a vent that sits right there. So you can just see if I can reconnect that there. It just kind of hangs there. That little uh, cover that was here uh, pushes up against it. So, but yeah, basically right here is where you would connect that adapter harness that you have. So basically what I've done in here is when I got it connected, I kind of made this a tighter spool just using the factory zip tie um, just to allow this end to be longer. So I kind of just looping it around the back of the, uh, the connector here for the uh, brake pedal monitor or the accelerator pedal. So we can probably just tuck this back down into here and then just let this come out, you know, right about there. And it could just come around the end of where, you know, the, the cover comes and it should stay out of the way. Um, and then, you know, you can kind of go from there to determine um, if you need more of a, uh, you know, just to secure it more to the side, which you just really want to avoid is it touching the steering column here because this is going to turn. Um, so, you know, like I said, just kind of keep it tucked down and it should uh, stay out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on 
and uh, plug this guy in and screw it in there. So when it comes to the mounting situation, I'm kind of like thinking, you know, way down here, which when you're looking from this side is, you know, I guess all right. It's kind of far away, kind of worried about like, you know, the transition of feet, maybe catching it or getting in the car. I was kind of thinking this might be a, a neat spot, you know, just put a couple screws in there and then it's kind of like out of the way under the steering wheel. There's plenty of rain to move around. You can access the brakes really conveniently. So it looks like that's going to be the final setup there. It'll just sit right there. You can see the wiring doesn't touch the steering column. It's just uh, suspended so it'll sit perfectly on that cover. Could even zip tie it to the cover if you wanted to. So I'll just sit right there. I'm probably gonna wrap this end section that's gonna be exposed in like black electrical tape. Maybe I'll even make a little pocket right here where this transition is um, so it doesn't get like the wiring pinched. And I'll show the final install of course, but that's gonna be really cool. And yes, I did check to see if the steering column touches when it's in the full down position. So we can go like this and you can see it does not get as far down as it goes and there's plenty of clearance. It does not go down any farther. So I got the exposed section wrapped up here and I'm installing the bracket. You can see this thing just pops off. You just lift up on these end clips. They go on the sides here and it hooks on the bottom. So I'm just kind of lining that up and using kind of a longer screwdriver to just crank that down. Put these side screws in. These screws actually don't, they're not tapped already. So this metal screw goes through this metal bracket and then it threads into the plastic. So you gotta make your own threads. You gotta line it up really straight and then tighten it down. Well, there's the final install. We got everything uh, in there. Made kind of a small cutout for the wiring to go in there. It's sitting up there. Plenty of room to get in. Plenty of room between my legs. See it straight through the steering wheel. So, there's that. So as a result of that wiring being messed up, I had to come back under here on the rear seat. I pull out this guy here. And this shows you exactly where the fuses are. Um, I wasn't getting power at the trailer connector, so I found that fuse 124, 5, and 6, 28, and 30 are all labeled as um, for the trailer hitch system. There's also, I think that's 115, and then 111 is one of these up here too. Um, I didn't add the fuses that were missing, but I did find that 124 was popped because of that wiring um, being messed up. So you can see that there's a, um, they say 30S, but I put just a regular 30 in there. Um, S from what I understand is just more like a better conductor. It's it's made of silver. I believe that's what the S stands for. I can double check that, but. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a big deal. I'll probably just, if I come across one, toss it in there. But uh, and then I was getting voltage at the connector once I uh, popped that fuse in there. So now I got this thing working here. You can see it's right there. I can see it on each side of the steering wheel just by looking through. I mean, I don't even have to really like lean forward to be able to grab this. So it looks like it's uh, working well. I double checked the pins and the wires and everything. Um, so now I just need to program it, set it and everything. And uh, that's how you get a X166 uh, trailer um, brake controller hooked up. Uh, that's where the fuses are, that's where the wires are. So if you have any questions or anything, you know, let me go know in the comments.
Thanks for watching, guys.